everyone, it's Sandra. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Sandra Said What. So today I want to talk to you about this whole Halle Bailey situation. So for months now people have been speculating that Halle Bailey was pregnant and now they're saying she finally gave birth to the baby. Um, I think she posted something and they could hear the baby in the background screaming or crying, whatever. And people are saying, you know, and pe a lot of people were actually opposed or didn't want her to have even her continue her relationship with her now her current boyfriend that she's alleged to have this baby by and a lot of people were hoping that she would actually leave this man based on his previous behaviors you know making music saying making certain statements and the music that was seemed to be damaging insecure um, jealous and we know a jealous man will ruin your life okay he she is hella baby if you're not familiar with her she started off singing on YouTube I believe I never really followed the duo, her and her sister, Chloe Bailey. They used to do, I believe, remixes to songs. And I think Beyonce took a notice to them. And so Beyonce signed them to a nearly slave labor contract. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. Um, for uh, album deals. And Halle Bailey went on to be the Little Mermaid, the first black, I think, Little Mermaid and there was uproar about this and a lot of people were che you know, che cheering her on and being happy for her that you know there's rep representation for the um, for, as for her as the Little Mermaid right and it seemed that for years um, her boyfriend you know has does he I think he's a youtuber of some sort and he does make uh, certain posts online he seems to be uh, an attention seeker definitely an attention seeker and not only that he's made you know a song where he was saying very damaging things and you can read pause to read what he said and a lot of people really took offense to what he said and you know saying Hallie you in danger girl but she's not listening she she don't want to hear it and allegedly she started showing up wearing big dresses and people were her face was changing her body proportions were changing and people were you know alleging and you know trying to see are you pregnant or are you not but she never confirmed or denied me personally I don't think she owed anybody anything if she was pregnant and she, if she had a baby I don't think she had to confirm anything because I do think that there is a weird relationship between specifically Americans and celebrities especially in the world, uh, world of social media was there's so much access and the illusion of closeness with these um, parallel relationships between the public and, re um, and these celebrities where they feel in, not only entitled to their um, movies and their art but to the person themselves they're entitled to know where are you what are you doing who are you seeing what are you doing you know to be in, involved in every aspect and these people's lives and it just doesn't seem it doesn't work that way right though so this weird dynamic sometimes causes these celebrities to be resistant towards not only their fans but the public in general so like i said i don't think Halle Bailey owes anyone anything as far as it concerns if she had a baby or not and another thing i do want to mention is that like i said her boyfriend did make a song saying a lot of things and based on what he was saying it seems that he was jealous of her and it actually came out that you know he was talking to his ex-girlfriend you know trying to get back with her or not, not maybe not get back with her but you know be intimate with her and messaging her while still being with Halle Bailey and there were allegations that he was cheating on Halle Bailey which said um with that girl um ex she doesn't care she doesn't care and my point in making this video today is to tell you I think we need to start believing Halle Bailey I think we need to start believing her because she grew up in the public eye as a young person. She's grown and evolved. A lot of people may feel like they know her more than the average celebrity even because, you know, they feel like, oh, this was a child. This is my child. People tend to still see people as children when they grow up in the public eye. So it's hard for them to venture into more adult type roles. Me, like I said, I never really followed the duo like that. So I don't know. Too much about them but i do know you know her sister does seem uh, to try to make a lot of you know sexually nuanced music and i don't think that's the vibe for her i do think that you know she does have a sexual side to her but i don't feel that it's too authentic i do like her as she seems to be a very sweet girl she seems to be a sweet girl and you know i'm not a part of celebrity stand culture so i don't really love or hate celebrities like that it's like if you do something it is what it is this is where um, the situation is right but because she may have gone up in the public eye she may feel the need to fight back and Halle Bailey keeps trying to tell us that 
she is not the person we keep thinking she is. Her branding is so immaculate that people think she's this soft, dainty, you know, unproblematic, you know, la 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 type of person, right? Not, I'm not, I don't know if she is or she's not, but she can try to tell us, look, I'm not gonna hold you, I'm not that person, leave me alone. You know, I'm gonna keep it cute. And you keep it cute too. I'm gonna do what I want to do. And she does tend to hang out with certain people that I refuse to mention on my channel. Let's just say these people are known for being very problematic on social media and having toxic relationships. She, that, those are her friend groups. Okay, she may sing the opera type music, she might be the little mermaid on Disney, she might this and that, wear the nice gowns, have the, the locks, and you know, seem seeming to be pristine and this and that. Not that she's not, but she keeps trying to tell us also, you have me you have me all wrong. I might be all these things, but there's other dimensions to me that you have no idea about. And I think we need to start believing her. She is not the person that people keep trying to make her. Like, why are you having a baby so young? I'm not sure how old she is. Maybe she's in her 24, 25. I'm not sure. Right? To some people, that might be young to have a baby. To some people, it might be the right age, you know, to have a baby. It depends on how you look at it. But when you consider a young woman who grew up in the public eye and people are trying to tell her what to do, now she's always been, seems to be rebellious rebellious according to her, one of her sisters they did like this type of TikTok where they were saying who's the most rebellious who gets in trouble the most and the sister was saying it was Hallie versus um, Chloe you know she's always been that person not that that makes her a bad person or anything she's just that person just because she's been branded to us to consume I think people need to decipher that these celebrities are brands right so their brands what they present to us is a product their persona their personality their music their movies yada, yada. it's a product for us to consume of course our perception of what we're consuming is important so they have to brand themselves a certain way to get us to continue consuming their products right but when it comes to her personal life she wants to be able to do whatever she wants to and she wants to make a bad decision to have a in my opinion, uh, in a lot of people's opinions, and we don't know this guy, right? But if she wants to make the decision to be with a guy who calls her the B word, say that he would jeopardize her career, um, say that he would, um, you know, he's obviously jealous of her success and, and saying, you know, she's kissing people in movies. I don't know. I've never seen her movies, so I don't know how many movies she's been in, though. I think she's only been in The Little Mermaid. And now the the color purple also but that was even way before the color purple way before even the little mermaid was out it seems that he was trying to have his moment at the height of her premiere and trying to jeopardize and ruin that for her and she doesn't see anything wrong with it she's young she has a lot of money and i don't know i'm willing to bet that i don't know i think at one point they were close to their parents i don't know if they're still as close or even if they're as close she she has enough money to be able to not listen to her parents not that the parents are always right but in the sense that I, there people, I've said this before, people will make their own decisions, especially when a lot of people are telling them what to do. They don't know which voice to listen to a lot of times, so they will make it their mission to only listen to their own, whether they're right or wrong. And I think we need to start believing Halle Bailey. She is not the person we think she is. She's not the person we want her to be. Um, she wants to make the bad decision to have a permanent connection, a permanent lifeline to someone else who doesn't want the best for her based on what he says in his music, calling her derogatory derogatory names and all of that good stuff. So be it. We can only hope and pray and, 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 and hope she, 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 she fastened her seatbelt because the landing will be rough. A lot of people do think, seem to think that he, you know, basically trapped her, quote unquote in this relationship because now they're permanently linked and his success her success if it elevates his will too in a sense because he will always remain relevant depending on the trajectory of her career so if Halle Bailey had a baby was pregnant I don't think she owed us anything I don't think she had to make any announcement because she doesn't owe us that right she's an artist and her art is what we pay to consume we don't pay to consume her but I guess nowadays it's one and the same and if she had the baby I don't think she has to make an announcement about it maybe they're gonna get brand deals because they seem to know how to get the public going let's just say it that way so again let Holly Bailey be um, 
So she, she's going to learn. If, even if she, has, if she learns the hard way, unfortunately for a lot of people, they have to learn the hard way before. And you know, another thing is, being with, having a child with someone who doesn't have the best interest, your best interest at heart, is one of the worst decisions you can ever make. And they can ruin, ruin your life permanently because they will always have that um, connection to you. And I think a lot of people don't understand. They make the decision to have a child, take the decision to have a child very lightly and don't consider all the factors that come with having a child, raising a child and having a person who constantly tries to jeopardize you or weaponize your own child against you in certain ways, weaponize the, weaponize the care and relationship you have to have with them because of the child against you. And like I said, there's nothing we can do. We can only brace for impact at this point and let her learn her lesson the hard way. If that's what she wanted, that's what she got. If she had a baby, congratulations to her. Um, I'm not one, I don't think, I don't want to misspeak and say the wrong thing, but I'm not one who believe, oh, at least I got a child out of it. No, no, you could have had a child in a better situation and you would still have loved that child equally, uh, you know, and still be okay and have a good relationship. I don't think every relationship deserves to have a child. I just put it that way. But again, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this matter. I'll talk to you later. Be sure to hit that subscribe. We're trying to grow a channel. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.